Hey guys, the Conquistador here. Um, yeah, so I had, um, I think I had last uploaded a video maybe a week or two weeks ago, so I'm sorry about that. I have um, some things coming up in the, ne in the near future. Um, some games are going to be, um, I'm going to be getting. So I'll show you that when I get those games, but I just wanted to give you a little video as a show that I'm still here and I still appreciate you guys. So, yeah, um, I'm going to show you my PS4 game collection, so let's get to it. Alright, first game we got here is Alien Isolation Nostromo Edition. I'm guessing they're all that Nostromo Edition. Um, I don't know how far I made it to this game. I think um, I had already met the alien and then... Well, I don't want to spoil it too much, but I'm, 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 I'm uh, probably, I'm probably two-fourths of the way in, maybe less not very much into this game yet but it's a really fun game and it's made by one of my favorite video game companies uh creative assembly they make the total war games i'm a big fan of the total war games so yeah they did a good job they showed that they're not just you know they can make other games besides strategy games because they nailed it on this next game we got here is assassin's creed unity i know a lot of you people out there hate Assassin's Creed Unity, you guys say it's one of the worst Assassin's Creed ever. And I mean, I can understand where you guys are coming from, but personally, when I played this game, and I had played it when, I, when it first came out, um, literally the day it came out, my friend had given me a free code for it to play on Xbox One. And I played it, and I ran into no glitches, nothing. Everybody, everything everybody was complaining about, I had not encountered and this game is this game is fun. This is probably one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. Not the favorite, um, but one of the top ones up there. Next game we got here is Back to the Future of the Game, um, the 30th anniversary. This game had came out last month, I believe, and it's a remake of one that had come out previously for the PlayStation 3 and I think PC. And I played a little bit of this game. This game is pretty cool. I haven't gotten into it more, but that's because I'm probably not going to get into it for a long time because I got some games, like I said, that I'm going to be picking up that they're going to completely sidetrack my concentration away from all these games. So yeah, that's Back to the Future of the Game. It's made by Telltale Games, so you know it's got to be good. Next game we got here is Battlefield 4. Um, this game I played a little bit of when I got in it. I played mostly the campaign. The multiplayer is all right. Um, honestly, though, this game just... It doesn't intrigue me the way it used to. Battlefield 3 had me. Like, I really liked it, but this game, it, it didn't really do it for me. It, it's a fun game. I'm not going to discredit that, but it just, it didn't do much for me. Um, next game we got here is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, I had picked this up on sale. It was, the game was supposed to be $60, $65 with tax and all that, but I had gotten it for 40 bucks. The GameStop was having a sale. So I made sure I picked that up, and it's a pretty good game, but I haven't played these games because I don't have PSN right now. Next game we got here is Dying Light. Um, Dying Light is a zombie game. It's like a parkour zombie game. Um, you guys should know about this. It's made by Techland. Um, Techland are a group of people that used to work for the people who had made Dead Island, but they had since separated from them and went on to make this game and honestly i feel like that i did probably with dying light's a better game next game we got here is fifa 14 um this is the only fifa game i have for this system i haven't bought much more i don't think i'm gonna buy any more because um not to offend anybody who loves sports games but all these sports games that have been coming out like 2015 2016 of the games they're they're just garbage the only, I think, acceptable one that I've, I've heard was pretty good was uh, Madden 16, and I'm not sure about that. Um, Infamous Second Son Limited Edition. Um, yeah, I heard really good uh, things about this game. Um, I have Infamous 1 and 2 on the PS3. Um, so yeah, I got this one. This one is probably my favorite out of the three. Um, I like the second one probably the most, and then this one came out, and this one was amazing. I love the story. The graphics are amazing. It just it's really like smooth when you play it, honestly. Next game we got here is Kills on Shadowfall. Um I had bought in this game. This was probably the second game I bought when I got my PS4. And it's 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 a I'm not gonna take anything away from this game. This game is a masterpiece of graphics. And that's where the awesomeness really cuts out on this game. It has really good graphics, 
but it has really nothing else going for it. Um, you could probably compare this game to like Rise Son of Rome in the sense of the masterpiece graphics, but Rise Son of Rome, I know not a lot of people like it, but that's that's way better than this. Next game we got here is Lords of the Fall in limited edition. This is really like, I had put some time into it, it really is like a Bloodborne, Dark Souls type of game. So if you don't have that Bloodborne, uh, Dark Souls money, you could easily just pick this up for next gen. I think it's like $22 or $24. So yeah. Um, next game we got here is Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Um, I'll tell you the truth, I probably played like a couple of minutes of this. And I did not play it ever again. Um, it's not that it's a bad game, the graphics are amazing, it looks like a pretty cool game, it's just... I'm not a big Metal Gear Solid fan, I thought this might get me into it, but it didn't... I just didn't want to play it. But I'm not taking away from anything from Metal Gear Solid, I know Metal Gear Solid. I respect that game, in the whole series. Um, next game we got here is Murdered Soul Suspect. This game, I probably played the same, like, an hour or two of it. I hadn't made it too far, I think I made it up to the church the first time, and then I hadn't gotten past it, and that's it. Next game we got here is a great game, and I'm going to give my little six cents about this game right now. That's Metro Redux. I think I bought this game for like 17 bucks, and it comes with Mass Effect, I mean not Mass Effect, Metro 2033 Redux and Last Light Redux. Um, they have Metro, Last Light, and 2033 for last gen, and they're both over like what you would pay for this. I think Last Light is like... $16, $17, and 2033 is like 24 so you can get both of these remastered with better graphics on one disc for the PS4 and Xbox One. So yeah, now here's a game I did get, another sports game I do have, and that's Madden NFL 15. I had gotten this because of the the 4 for 20 deal. This game is like 14 bucks on that deal, so already I'll be making, I'll already be ahead of the game buying this game, so I did. And I played it like twice, and I haven't played it much after. I versed my brother, and I beat him, so that was a good thing. <laughs> um, next game we got here is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Um, this game is awesome graphic-wise. I have not played it after. Like, I played probably a good hour and a half of it, and then I had not played it after. But I know this game, I heard good things about it, and I'm definitely getting back, to it, back into it sometime. Next game we got here is another game I paid like 17 bucks for, and that's Sniper Elite 3. This game, when I first saw it coming out, I thought it looks like a pretty good game. I might want to get it, but not at that very moment. And luckily I didn't because this game is super cheap now. You guys could pick it up for 16 bucks, 17 bucks, and it's definitely worth it. Next game we got here is Shadow Warrior. You play as like a sort of, I think it's like a remake of an old game. You sort of play as like a Japanese samurai type thing, but not really. You're sort of like, you have the skills of a samurai, but you're not a samurai. It takes place in, like, modern-day Japan, though. Um, next game we got here is The Walking Dead Season 2. I beat this game in full. Great game. Um, I don't think it's as good as the first one. I have the first one installed on my system. But it's it's still a pretty good game. I like playing this Clementine because it's, you're a little more vulnerable. I think I've said that before. Um, the Wolf Among Us Telltale Game Series. Um, this is probably, literally, you guys are going to hate me. But this is probably my favorite Telltale game. Like, I love The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead was the first Telltale games, I, like, of the Telltale games I played. But The Wolf Among Us, I just love that game. I like it better than the other two, but that's just my opinion. Um, next game we got here is The Last of Us Remastered. Um, I had gotten this, like, around Christmas time. I had gotten, like, a $40 gift card from one of my families to GameStop, and I made sure I picked this up really quick. And I played it. I beat it. Great game. Uh, I have a friend who has a big problem with it. He says, why would you remaster a game that just came out like a year ago or two years ago when they made this game? Uh, I, I just, I don't agree with him. That game is amazing and I'm glad they remastered it. Next game we got here is Thief. I had not played a lot of this game. Um, like I've said, I tried, I'm going to try to get back into this one again. I heard it's not great. The voice acting is not great. The gameplay is really not great either, but I'll still give it a try. Next game we got here is The Evil Within. This game I bought for 20 bucks new. I My brother has it on the the one, I think. Yeah, he has it on the Xbox One. He beat it, and I'm a good, decent part of the way into it, but I have stopped and haven't played it again for, for, I don't know, I just hadn't got into it again. Next game we got here is a game I hold in super high regard. I know not too many people do. 
a lot of people get, a lot of people give this game a lot of flack and I don't understand that I love the graphics I love the gunplay I love the story everything had me in that game I was so into the story when the twists and turns happened I was so surprised and I really love this game and it has some good references in it until dawn a great horror game bought it on the day of release reserved it bought it great game beat it um i think i i think only like two or three people died i know you can save them all but that was my first playthrough so i think i did pretty good next game we got here is wwe 2k15 it's an all right game i think 2016 is already out but i'm not going to be buying that i don't buy the wrestling games this one i got as a gift for christmas next game we got here is a game i love Watch Dogs, and not, not too many people like this game at all. It's really not held in high regard by too many people. It's mostly a letdown or just complete shit to most people. But I really love this game, and I'm pretty far into it. I think I'm almost done with it, and I really love it. I'm going to go back to it and beat it. Next game we got here, and my last game, is Wolfenstein The New Order. Um, this game is pretty cool. I haven't, I, don't, I haven't beaten it, but it's pretty cool. It takes place in an alternate World War II where... The Nazis, well, it's a little after World War II, the Nazis already won, and then they invaded the U.S., and everybody lost. So, yeah, the Allies are, were dead. And I do um, I do have some other games. I have, like I said, Season 1 of The Walking Dead installed on my PS3. I have um, Far Cry 3. I think I have um, a few more games, like Drive Club. So I think I have a good, I have definitely over 30 games here. And I'm going to be increasing that number soon. These are some great games. And yeah, thanks guys. I told you I would be back. And I'm, I'm going to be back maybe in a couple days, maybe less. You'll, you'll see. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited about um, having a game collection this big for next-gen console. I know there's a lot of people who have like hundreds of games already. But, you know, this is a humble collection and it will get there. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for supporting me. And the Conquistador out.